Yeah. The event kickstarts the station's family month activities. Many from all over the country came to worship and lay their problems on the altar of the family consecration service. For others, it was a thanksgiving service for the mercies, protection and guidance of the Lord. I remember very well that when I started this program, um, I, I was having HND and uh, I had admission to go and do my first degree in public administration. I had admission to go and do postgraduate diploma. And I went and did my master's in governance and leadership. And I remember very well that I think six years ago or seven, six years ago, when we came here, I told God that, look, where I'm working, I don't like it, so I want to change a job. So I put my application on the platform. And so during the prayers, I was praying. And behold, I got a new job. And that is where I am now. The service had praises and worship that got worshippers on their feet. The atmosphere was also charged with the expectant congregation who fervently prayed to their God. Psalm 90 verse number 15 and fire because some people have just entered. He said, make us glad for many days you have afflicted us. For as many years as we have seen trouble, give us double honor. The service gave the congregants the opportunity to intercede on behalf of their families, also for progress, growth and finances. Couples who joined City FM and City TV's family consecration service had the opportunity to renew their marriage vows during the spiritual exercise. This was superintended by Reverend Nelson Awintia on behalf of City FM and City TV's resident pastor, Reverend Stephen Wenkam. Look at your wife closely and please say this after me or say this to her. Say, my dear wife, today, I reaffirm my love for you. I will love you all the days of my life. Once again, I pledge to love you with all my heart and for the rest of my life. I will do my best to make sure that this marriage works. Several followers and participants of the Family Consecration Service also shared various testimonies of breakthroughs from the program. I came for my breakthrough. It was very, very great. I get my breakthrough. I will heal. My family all heal. I'm going with my blessing to my house. Yes. Yes, this is my first time. And I was very touched. Yes, it was marvelous. I just want to go call the glory. What he had done for my family, he had delivered my family from every generation curse. He is so great. Thank you, Lord. You are so great. I bless you in Jesus' name. This year, I really enjoyed myself this year. Because last year, we did it virtual, that 24 hours something, we did it at home. And then today, I've really enjoyed myself. Uh, we're here to renew our vows. Um, we pray with the family. And then we trust God that God has really heard us and answered us. I renew my <laughs> vow to her again. So we are happy. And yeah. God willing, the testimonies are on the way coming. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and moreover, I'm also blessed to be here this morning. Though this is my first time of experiencing it. But I will pray to God that maybe next year we will see bigger things more than the one that I saw today. This year's edition has shown us that our listeners are very committed. Because after two years of having virtual services and we announced that this year it was going to be an in-person service. The numbers that came really demonstrated and have shown to us that City FM listeners and City TV viewers are really, really committed to the cause of Christ. City FM and City TV's family consecration service is an annual affair. 
the six hour long service brings together families to pray for God's guidance, blessing and protection for the rest of the year. If you couldn't join this year, hope to see you next year. For City News, I am Natalie Nettie.